Hi everyone, welcome to day 16 of my 50 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we'll be solving one of the data analyst interview question. So let's see the question. The question is given a table name employees with the following columns which is ID, name, department and the manager ID. Write a SQL query to find the names of managers who have at least 5 direct reporting under them. Return the results in any orders. Ensure that no employee is their own manager. The result format should include only the manager names and the meeting criteria so let's see the table in the table we have id names department and the manager id now one thing to notice you see the manager id which is 101 of the employee which is dan now for dan 101 basically means this is an employee id now for this 101 person name is basically john so basically john is the manager of dan now we have some more employees like james emmy Anna. so all this employee has the same manager which is John so what we need to find out basically a manager who has more than five direct reporting under them and uh, yeah that's it we need to find out so this is the table we have basically so let's see how we can solve these questions so to solve this kind of questions we can do a self join to basically join the same table with itself based on some criteria and that is how we can basically you know solve this kind of questions so let's see what are the things we need we first need to basically find out based on this manager id what is the manager name like let's go ahead and write it we need to find out basically manager manager name based on id right which is this manager id correct manager id so we need to find out like what is the name of this manager id for example in a new column okay then we can do a group by by basically this id or maybe you know that manager name and then we can see like what is the count of employees who are basically reporting to this manager then we can basically find out count of employees right who is reporting to this id which is the same id that means we need to do a group by by this id and then we can find out basically like you know uh, using a having condition if the count is at least five then just show us this manager name right then we can say having count greater than equals to five this is how we can solve these questions so let's see how we can solve this question so let's just go ahead and now we need to basically make two tables okay this one table we can basically join the same table with itself only by just giving some aliases so first we need basically what first we need uh, the manager name or we can say we can start with this manager id so i will just go ahead and say that i need first what manager's name or manager id so i will say uh, just to make it you know easy for you to understand so i will first say that manager id i need okay so i would say manager manager id which is this column manager id okay now other than that i will need this manager id id's and name like this manager id which is 101 what is the name of this manager id which is basically john right so i can go ahead and say this time i need manager manager name so again the, there is no column called manager name so i will need basically name of this id so i will say name here okay now I'm going to reference this name from another table based on this manager ID. Okay, so I'll show you how. So first let's just say as manager, okay. Manager name. Now basically this name, okay, based on this ID, I'm getting this name from another table and I'm naming that basically column as a manager name. So that's fine. Now next what I need is simply basically count of employees. How many employees are falling into this manager ID or this manager name? okay so i'll just give the aliases here as id okay now let's just uh, you know try to do a self join okay or maybe a cross join to see how you know these things are working so i'm saying here i'm getting on this manager id from the first table which is going to be employees right the table we have employees now i'll just give you a uh, you know, nice name to this table which is e1 so i'm getting manager id from where i'm getting manager id from e1 e1 dot manager id now i'm getting the manager name okay based on this manager id i'll be getting the manager name isn't it so i'll just do a join i'll just do a simple inner join maybe okay so inner join with the same table again so this time i can call this table as like employee 2 okay now i have made a join uh, with the same table now i'll just need to give some conditions here so what conditions i'm joining so i can say that you know the manager id from the first table from the first table the manager id and the second table if i just consider this table again in a new table and I see that okay based on this manager ID and the second table let's say this one join with this employer ID because they both are same isn't it so I'm doing an inner join so only for all this manager at the end I'll be getting basically the manager name so I'll just say go ahead and join basically E1 of my table which is manager name that's going to be manager ID so E1 of manager manager ID 
equals to e2 of ib so i'm simply doing a join based on the same table with another same table based on basically this manager id and that second table basically with the id now if i just run it i will have the manager id manager name from which is basically this name i'm going to get from where i'm going to get this name from the second table okay i would say e2 e2 dot manager name okay now this id from i'm getting from where this id i'm getting from basically again the first uh this id i'm getting from the first table now this id i'm getting from where this id i'm getting from the first table okay so i would say e1 because i i'm counting like how many you know employees are basically in this table based on this name because at then i'm doing a group by by this name or the manager name okay so now i can go ahead and say group by now i have two column which is one this one and this one so i can just do a group by by basically both the columns so i can say one and two now if i just run this query should basically work fine let's just go ahead and see now see i have basically two employee so based on this employee id now see this is from the first table based on this employee id i'm getting the name now based on this employee id i'm getting the name which is from the second table because i cannot get it from the same table so i'm getting it from the second table which is basically my second table is e employees uh, which is this one e2 okay now this count i'm getting from where this count i'm getting from the first table now for 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 the first table every table has a basically this uh, th this data right which is the manager id now i'm simply counting how many manager are basically falling into this group which is uh, you know the manager id 1 then the manager id basically 71 uh, you know manager id which is 107 so how many people or how many how many employees are falling into this group and that's how basically we are doing a count now only the thing that we need to basically find out the manager name who has basically you know count which is at least 5 so greater greater than equals to 5 we can use here so you can say having count of this basically count of this which is greater than equals to 5 now i can just go ahead and run it this is going to basically give us the result so i have a small task for you so let me just show you the task so your task is to find out the total employees who doesn't have any managers so it's a very simple one you just need to uh, refer the same table and you need to find out the count of employees who doesn't have any managers or managers id basically so far so you need to basically find that and you can write down your queries in the comment box and to download this basically schema and this uh, you know data you can just refer to the video descriptions i will be adding my github link so you can download this data and basically import it into your uh, pg admin 4 and you can basically solve this questions that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end have a good day see you